Good morning. I'm Bev Hetting, known as the Message Maestro. I want to tell you a story. A story about two businesses, pre-COVID and post-COVID. A tale that is only heartwarming in the resilience it has and both chilling in the realities. I started my business four, four and a half years ago with all the hope in the world that every small business owner does the same thing. We come up with an idea, we do the research, we figure out what's missing, what people need, and we pour our hearts and souls into that business. We know it's going to take time. We know that. Even though everybody online is telling us that you can become a millionaire, dream big, invest huge amounts of money, bombarded with these messages on all sides coming at you like arrows, like, like being in the middle of a war zone and and I say that flippantly, being in a war zone, because, let's face it, it's actually a crass thing to even think about. It's only a small business. It's not going to change the world overnight. Your life doesn't depend on it, although sometimes the roof above your head might. So no it is crash. It is flippant. And yet, when you're in the middle of all of that coming at you, the only thing that you think about is what's going on in your world at that time. And it does feel that bad when things don't go the way you think they should. Or things don't go the way that some coach has told you they would. When we believe some of the rubbish that's given to us, it is very much like Cinderella not going to the ball. Because all around you, everybody else seems to be making it. Everybody else is actually managing. But you keep going. You slog through it all, knowing it will all be worthwhile because what you have to offer, what message you have, is so important to the world. So I slogged on, one foot in front of the other, learning new things, absorbing new ideas, making amazing relationships with people having coffee with awesome people, lunches with people, traveling to meet and to talk. Business was getting better. It got to a point where you know it's about to turn. It's about to change over and go over that bump or go round that corner. And you know that your business is successful. In your eyes, you have made one of those milestones of one of those dreams. And that's what happened. 2019, my business was finally taking off. I was speaking. I'd been to Belarus. I'd won a couple of awards. I'd sponsored an award. I did so many things. I traveled. I did a TEDx. Life was good. Who knew? Who knew what was going to hit us? Who knew how long it was going to take? And who knew how devastating it was going to be on small businesses, solopreneurs, with no access 
to the help that was being offered. We didn't get our three wishes. We didn't get to rub the magic lamp. We didn't get anything. So we're back to slogging on. Only this time, this time, it was more important. This time, it was imperative that we brought money in. We saw our partners being furloughed. We saw people in our families being laid off. We saw people dying. Business is not so important when the world turns like that. Important to us, yes. We wanted to pay our bills. We wanted to, to keep our families together. Families of small business struggled. It's hard to do an online call when the kids are screaming in the lounge and fighting. It's hard to homeschool when you only have access to one computer and three kids of different ages learning different things. It's hard. But there was light at the end of the tunnel. The heroes of the world had told us it wouldn't last long. And yet as time went on, our faith in those heroes began to crumble. We began to see the world shrink. We began to see our own personal environment shrink. Till in the end, the only place we had was, was home. Home and a computer. Socially, it stopped. The business it stopped. And while I was licking my wounds, I was equally, equally worried about people that, that worked in industries that just stopped. Hospitality. There was none. It looked like there would never be a way out of this story. There would never be a happy ending. Because the business changed. We all had to pivot. We all had to find other ways of earning, other ways of delivering our messages, other ways to communicate with the world, other ways to actually maintain our relationships with our children with our parents, with our loved ones, with our friends. The world is a very, very different place today. It's, it's almost two-dimensional. With all the technology in the world, with all the amazing, incredible things you can do online, the platforms you can use, the software, everything. It didn't fill the gap of being able to go out and breathe that air on the way to visit the people you love, to make new friends. We all remain to this day sat in front of a camera trying to communicate with the world. So yes, I have run two businesses. And the business I run today it's almost like starting all over again. It's almost like having to learn a whole new set of things and understand a world I, I don't seem to be part of anymore. No, my business isn't growing. It's not bringing in a livable income. So I had to think what I was going to do. What three wishes was I going to use? Whose magic lamp was I going to rub? There wasn't any. All that was left was sheer determination and resilience to move forward. And I did. One step at a time. It's difficult. And as I speak to you today, my business isn't in the place I want it to be. 
I have simplified and absolutely love what I do. I have to say running a business has become a drag. It's become hard work. It's become almost like an albatross around my neck. Not the work I do, not the coaching, not the speaking, not the relationships, just the sheer humdrum day-to-day running a business. Because running a business today, it's about marketing and it's about PR. It's about standing out, heads above everybody else. It's about being present, being online, being on social media, talking to forums. It's about attending summits, speaking at summits, setting up podcasts, being a guest on podcasts. Have I blogged? Have I done an article? Have I responded to anyone on social media today? Have I posted enough in my schedule to go out this day? Have I updated my website? It's exhausting. And I know I'm not the only one. I know there are thousands of us out there struggling with these same issues, wondering what's going to happen next. When are we going to get out there to meet people? When are we going to be allowed to go out and speak in front of an audience on a stage where you can soak up the atmosphere, where you can watch your audience and have a real conversation and relationship with them. There is going to be a happy ending to my story. And I know that it is slowly going to get better and better, but it is a tale of two businesses. And I suspect you all have your own tale of your two businesses. Let's tell people the truth. Let's tell people what it's really like out there at the moment. That comparison of sitting in a quiet room in front of a camera and there's only you and the feeling of you want of connection, but knowing that as you go through the lens into the world of online, it's busy, it's noisy. There are millions and millions of people all there shouting the same message, all wanting the same thing. My story is about resilience. It's about determination. It's about how you keep going. I don't know how many times I have said, what's the point this year? But there is a point. The point is I love what I do. What else would I do? I love helping people speak. I love watching women build the confidence to stand up and tell the world how awesome they are. I love that. I love building those relationships. I love giving stuff away and seeing people grow and prosper and their confidence build. I love all that. So I'm gonna go on with my day and take another step forward and wish you all with your own stories, a happy ending. Bye.